Sanjay Sarda. Welcome to the channel Kahani's Golden Bites. Thank you for taking your time to be on the channel, Sanjay. Thank you so much, Jobi. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you for hosting me. Thank you, Sanjay. Again. So, Sanjay, uh, for the benefit of our viewers, uh, may I please request you to give a little background about yourself, Sanjay? Sure. Uh, my name is Sanjay Sharda. Basically, I am a mechanical engineer from BIT. I did my management from IIM Kolkata. And I've been uh, around in the corporate world for about 35, 36 years. And uh, after doing a lot of stints in uh, companies where the domain expertise that I had was basically in strategic sourcing, uh, you know, supply chain management, efficiency enhancements. So after doing a lot of uh, uh, responsible roles in large corporates, I felt uh, it is time that we do something which is different. So uh, I moved on to the next stage of my life, which uh, you know I think has been a very, very uh, fruitful and a purposeful one. Uh, and that is by the uh, grace of God uh, through music. So lovely, Sanjay. Uh, you know, there's so much of depth that you come with. I'll, you know, be able to cover only a little bit. Uh, and I know because you're short of time too. So Sanjay, uh, you know, you mentioned you were in the corporate sector after doing your uh, MBA. Uh, Sanjay, which... Uh, you know, industries were you involved with, uh, Sanjay, during your corporate journey? Most of my uh, stint has been in the infrastructure sector. Okay. Uh, with the Indian companies, uh, basically cement, uh, steel, stainless steel. So these has been uh, most of my, you okay. know, working experience in these companies. And Sanjay, so, you know, you've been in the, you know, infrastructure space and in the, you know, with the Indian business houses, and the largest of them and the most prominent. And so Sanjay, since you joined that, you know, industry straight after your IMs at Calcutta, right? Uh, yeah. And since you, you know, towards your, you know, towards the end, that landscape has, I guess, undergone changes since when you first joined there? Yeah, now all the uh, companies that I have worked uh, have become multinationals. Wow. They, they have... Uh, footprints across geographies. So the Amazing. definition of multinational has now undergone change. So all the Indian uh, big companies are multinationals Love and uh, they have uh, a CEO also of, of different nationalities. So that is one change that has happened. Of course, uh, technology wise, a revolution has happened in the way a business is being conducted. Uh, so that is another change that has you know, hit uh, all the uh, industries around. And third, uh, the the boundaries have ceased to exist. So uh, there is there is no uh, supply chain that you can think of, which is not international. So uh, in terms of supply chain, because I was basically focusing on mm -hmm. supply chain, uh, it has undergone a lot of change over the years mm -hmm. that I've worked. Also your, your market segments have, have now become, your target audience is the world, not uh, you know particular geographies that you are, exactly. your plant is located. So. A lot of uh, change has happened, and I think it is it is for the good. So, uh, India, uh, you know, has earned a lot of uh, respect uh, in the in the last uh, two decades, uh, particularly. So earlier, uh, you know, we used to be in awe of what the others are doing, but no longer so. Uh, we are at par, even even better than the than the others in so many ways. Absolutely. So uh, I think we can proudly say that uh, Indian entrepreneurship has arrived. You can see the startup, uh, you know, world uh, doing so well. Exactly. So a uh, lot of good things have happened. And, uh, you know, I was happy to be a part of that change and see from where it is to where it is now. And I'm sure uh, in the time to come, this trend will continue and we will have much more, you know, uh, good things happening. Fantastic. Fantastic. Lovely. Lovely that you were part of that journey, uh, Sanjay. Lovely to hear that. Sanjay, uh, you mentioned something and, you know, uh, music. And may I tell you that that's when I first, you know, got to read about you. And that's what got me to reach out to you. And you were gracious enough to accept this invitation. Sanjay, this is an article that appeared in Forbes. And uh, 
would you like to share with the viewers what that article was and what i'm you know alluding to uh, sanjay sure so after working long years uh, in the corporate life uh, you know i was recuperating due to a knee surgery and during that time uh, you know i felt that uh, so many years in the corporate life has happened and uh, i was you know interested in music uh, right from the school days uh, i was able to play some instruments i was playing it also in school college days so but uh, during that time when i was recuperating i thought uh, maybe you know uh, music can have a much more purposeful uh, you know uh, goal than just the entertainment or or just as a uh, you know time pass so uh, during that time i thought uh, i was learning the santur uh, from my guruji at that time so i thought uh, maybe uh, you know uh, if i can use music and try to turn it around into reaching out to people so uh, it could add some uh, you know happiness in their lives give them some kind of a connect uh, to the inner selves and slowly uh, you know when i uh, divulged this to my bosses they the immediate reaction was that kya gana bajana karega tum so i insisted that give me a three months sabbatical and i, I may come back uh, my first three months uh, you know i opened some academies there was you know at, at that point of time even now uh, you Excellent. have social media addicted kids uh, bored housewives and uh, corporate stressed uh, you know uh, people uh, learning to you know uh, do something in music so i was able to give a channel to them to learn music in a in a good uh, way and slowly the academies uh, started to increase and i started to uh, you know uh, see a lot of good things happening particularly with the, the autistic uh, kids that uh, we had uh, in the in the academy so we did a lot of good work on them and uh, the happiness i could see on the faces of their parents was something which you know was really satisfying so then i because being in the corporate have you start uh, having a mindset which is a bit corporatized so i was trying to you know uh, link music as a employee engagement employee retention tool uh, which uh, was uh, possible to be done in in some corporates uh, you know we uh, had done in noida in in gurgaon so uh, by that time uh, you know a uh, lot of uh, uh, press uh, releases were coming Uh, you know <laughs> featuring my my journey uh, economic times the stand times the times of india so i was uh, you know reasonably uh, you know a bit uh, uh, surprised that you know after working so many years uh, trying to do good work uh, there was no such uh, intense coverage then they were doing this and getting a lot of coverage so uh, you know uh, that was uh, i was getting that so just as a anecdote i will just mention i once asked the Uh, journalist that what is it that you find so interesting in me that you are trying to you know see my journey uh, year on year so she said that you know if i just give you a heading that uh, a cat is sitting on a mat this might not be of any interest to you but if i say that the cat is sitting on a dog's mat so it suddenly becomes the headline news so this is what is happening so i could understand it okay maybe i am sitting on a dog's mat so i said okay this is something which i need to sit on more and i uh, did uh, something which was more and then uh, you know uh, after that the music journey happened uh, in the startup uh, domain so uh, there was a incubator accelerator opportunity that i got to open up in calcutta so i uh, you know left my academy is uh, to the managers who were running it and said that okay i have i have been again called to the corporate world but this time i not leave music so Uh, even the incubator accelerator we had had a music academy inbuilt in it so uh, hopefully if you see the videos at the end of it it is all uh, you know with the startups uh, so there is a, a music uh, connect which was possible uh, after you know doing long hours at work so you could do that so i was doing that and then uh, there was another turning point in the music journey when the pandemic uh, you know march april 2020 and suddenly there was people stuck up at home there a lot of uncertainty and uh, uh, people were not able to find out avenues to do uh, you know uh, some kind of a uh, work that will give them some kind of a uh, sense of achievement so i was able to you know tap on to my uh, musical uh, abilities and try to at that point of time i decided to do one uh, video 
every day for 50 days. So starting from April, May, uh, you know, uh, 2020. So there are 50 videos that made that. So after the, the pandemic uh, you know, subsided and situation turned uh, a bit normal, I again thought that uh, let me continue this. And I thought the YouTube channel is one good medium that you can you know, reach out to people. So my immediate uh, connect is of course uh, with my, uh, the first line of uh, relationships that I have. So uh, they became, became the subscribers. So very soon uh, uh, the, the the YouTube channel started getting some kind of a, uh, visibility outside. And that's the time Forbes uh, connected with me saying that uh, you are doing, uh, you know, something which is different. So I was able to, uh, you know, uh, see that uh, although you have, uh, you know, you have career, you have health, you have relationships. So these I thought were, you know, aspects in which uh, the balance has to be particularly uh, correct. Unless there is a balance in one, you have tend to, you know, become uh, uh, the others are, are messed up. So in the absence of that, uh, uh, you know, uh, there was a problem in in getting the balance corrected. So when even if there's a balance, you need a, a purpose in your life, and the purpose in my life became, uh, you know, music, and uh, to, how to able to, uh, you know, deliver meaningful content in in a musical form. So that is how uh, the Forbes connected with me and I was featured. Thank you. Amazing, amazing, Sanjay. I mean, there was so much in that, so much in that. So Sanjay, you know, you mentioned the Santur, okay? So when did you start learning the Santur? About? I'm still learning. Uh, so uh, 2007 is the time, you know, I first heard the instrument uh, live. Uh, uh, because in Calcutta, you were, uh, I was there. So you are able to see a lot of uh, audience uh, as audience uh, performances. So uh, I was fascinated by the sound of it. And then, you know, I uh, came back uh, and I started to see where I could get a Guruji. So finally, uh, uh, my Guruji is uh, a PhD in Santur in Delhi University. So uh, I could uh, convince him somehow to, you know, he doesn't do it uh, uh, normally with students particularly not with the corporate guys. So I, I, I somehow convinced him to get it. Mm -hmm. me and, uh, you know, I uh, somehow had a connect uh, with the instrument. So I'm doing it from the Sufi Ganana. So uh, I, I really felt that there is a way in which you can connect to uh, a supreme power or, or to your inner self uh, through, through this instrument. And uh, that is how I started to learn. And uh, my progress was reasonably good. And uh, slowly, slowly, it progressed. And I'm, in fact, still learning. Uh, no way near uh, any way that I can be. Uh, I have no idea of being a professional. But yes, uh, uh, there are friends and, and, and known people who sometimes tell me, okay, let's, let's have a performance. So I just look forward to those occasions. So Sanjay, some of the things that strike me is, one, you know, you weren't in school or college when you, you know, started learning this instrument. You were older than that, you know, you weren't, uh, you know, because it's in the young age when, you know, you're fearless, you jump in and you want to learn, you know, try out something, you know, uh, and you don't hesitate. So you're in your corporate world, as you mentioned, and your Guruji, you know, did consider, you know, uh, consider you take some time, but, uh, you know, so you, it started much later. That is one. The other thing that strikes me is, Sanjay, you've also, you know, while your learning is always continuous, You've played on the big stage too, you know. You have your own YouTube channel, and you're, and you've played various other instruments too on the big stage, right, Sanjay? You enjoy it thoroughly. Yeah, I, I really do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, Santur is my instrument of choice, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, the audiences uh, I was getting in Santur were a bit limited. So, and when particularly when I was with the startup crowd, I still am, and with the you know the the younger crowd. So I thought uh, if, if I have to connect to them, so I have to go on learning new instruments. So I made a, uh, you know, a, a decision to go on learning new instruments. So at this moment, maybe I know about 10, 11 of them, uh, mostly percussion uh, in addition to Santur. Fantastic, so fantastic. I, I always think, uh, Jovi, that uh, uh, it's not uh, adding years to your life that is important. You have to add life to your years. And what better than, than music to add? Amazing. So 
even today uh, i am learning uh, you know from a new guruji tabla uh, so maybe uh, sometime later i will post some videos for tabla you know <laughs> sanjay is- it's such a pleasure listening to you that each of these sentences that you are you know dishing out i feel like having a full talk on just each of the sentences you know that's a kind of depth that you you know you're bringing to this conversation and sanjay uh you know i won't take more of your time i know i have taken a lot of your time but i'm going to add you know towards the end of this clip a montage of you uh but anything you know before that uh, sanjay any you know views to the our viewers any anything that you'd like to share uh, is it good has it be, you know you've enjoyed it but you think it's good to that people have some sort of a hobby or something like that sanjay yeah i think uh, ravi thanks uh, for asking this uh, i think everyone uh, is uh, uniquely gifted uh, mm-hmm. by god and uh, it is you know uh, our aim to find uh, what is the what is the gift that we have been born with and uh, uh, you know a purposeful life Uh, is only when you have found that gift mm-hmm. so once you have found that gift uh, it is it is now you have to you know spread it on to others so uh, you can only spread it because happiness is only by giving it uh, so many people uh, don't know their gifts so uh, i would urge people to find out uh, what their gifts is and there are some some uh, videos in the youtube channels you can you can also look at so that will it will give you some idea of that so if you know what your gift is and if you are able to share it uh, in a in a way in which your purpose of life is achieved that will give you a lot of happiness uh, the way uh, you know i am uh, getting that and i i i would look forward to you know getting more musically oriented uh, souls aligned with me so that uh, we can together do this journey so i would love to take the opportunity of welcoming all musically aligned souls to become because there is no age to uh, learn yeah. music you are you are blessed uh, with it uh, as and when you want so that is my only wish lovely sanjay thank you so much for your time for your views you know i'm also going to put the link of your youtube channel below uh, so that you know those of you know the viewers who are interested could you know see some of the deeper aspects and you know especially on the music side and your positivity that you just dish out you roll out through your channel once again sanjay thank you so much for taking your time to be on the channel thank you pleasure my pleasure thank you thank you sanjay